don't wish Samantha Seesaw on my worst enemy. Listen, the game, it's a, it's a great game. You and me might be the only people that actually have respect for the genre. Everybody else calls it streamer bait. They don't know the tradition of uh, foddy likes that exists in uh, addictinggames.com. I knew society was cooked, by the way. The second that um, Candy Stand Mini Golf was no longer the number one game on addictinggames.com. And instead it became Falling Girl, the girl in the bikini who falls through the bubbles. That is probably one of the serious, like, first harbingers that we as a society were going to spend too much time online. The gooners took over. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit about fucking helicopter flight anymore. Everyone was going crazy. Falling girl! I gotta go to addictinggames.com so I can play Falling Girl. This site used to be about gaming. It used to be about playing golf on a Lifesavers themed mini golf course where the hole was the peppermint one. Now it's all chicks in bikinis stealing my playership. Falling on bubbles, their fucking legs are getting twisted up all around, their bones are all breaking and stuff. I mean, there's kids that use this website, bro. Everything turns to pornography given enough time. I don't think that's fucking true, to be honest with you. I think it's just like, you will find pornography everywhere, yes. But does everything turn into it? No, absolutely not. You don't want to think it's true? No, it's because you guys are fucking gooners. <laughs> you, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail, buddy. What is a gooner for real? Okay, Dan, nobody in your chat would probably tell you. They would try to protect you. A gooner is someone whose um, only hobby is excessive masturbation and not just like trying to achieve climax as many times as they can throughout a day but like trying to extend the length of the session as much as they can but it's and you're gonna say that's edging but it's not really edging it's kind of like um edging is like i'm gonna jo but i'm not gonna come Gooning is like, you, you probably have to edge to goon. It is a confusing kind of, I guess it's a spectrum. Gooners are like hypnotized. You know what, that's kind of the way I see it. Great, great addition there, Prezo. I'm going to speak on that for a second. Because I feel like edgers still have control over the masturbation. They're like, I am going to jerk off and I'm, then I'm going to almost come and then I'm going to stop. I'm driving the bus. I'm still in control. And then gooners have decided that they're like, I have let the hobby consume me. There's nothing to do but to goon. That's it. And if I come, whatever, I'll just keep beating it while it's soft anyway. So I, I find the edging... In a relative sense, I would say I, I find it more noble. And the gooning I find very distasteful because I think once you... I, I understand the temptation to surrender yourself to, um, you know, an ethos like that. That's probably the same reason people get sucked into cults. But I think you have to maintain some semblance of your own character. Else find yourself totally dissolved into the gooning itself. Twitter is in kind of a crazy place, though. You'll see a tweet that's like, Harrison Ford turns 90. If you scroll like eight tweets down, there'll just be a OnlyFans model that's like, he fucked me in the butt yesterday, and it's a video of her getting fucked in the butt. Like, they're not even, like, click this link anymore. You, I don't even mean this, I, I swear to you, it's not an anti-sex work thing. Is it really that hard out there to get attention for getting fucked that you don't even put up like a paywall or nothing anymore? Like to compete, you just got to blast that shit out like junk mail?
That's depressing, bro. That shit is, is making me sad. I thought there was like an art to it. It's like, you know, little revealing outfit, check out more here. The free set might have like a nip slip or something like that. If you want more, you got to put your credit card number in. Nowadays, there's, I mean, like at least part of the chat GPT porn bots on Twitter are like, here's me getting fucked. Please send me some Bitcoin. <laughs> like it's, the economics of that shit are fucking depressing, bro. <laughs> That's old school tech. Who called it crackhead shit? What does that even mean? <laughs> I'm serious. It seems like a hard fucking world out there, man. That's like what Let's Players had to do. <laughs> they had to be like, hey, check it out. It's me, part six, Earthbound. And like as someone who, you know, was making Let's Plays, that shit was valueless, man. There was zero barrier to entry. I would have thought of your like you know shoving your shit in the camera. You'd you'd be able to command a higher price, but I guess there's just so much out there. It's it, DL Guiga, bag me up. It's economics, right? There should be like some grapes of wrath shit. They should be like burning huge fucking warehouses full of pornography to make sure that there's only so much pornography left that it can actually command like a price where the people who make it can get paid a living wage this guy has never tried to buy niche porn before you got me there apollo you know what is the real generational divide between like a 35 year old millennial and a 31 year old millennial it's like the 35 year old millennial makes fun of the 31 year old millennial for having a fetish and the 31-year-old millennial makes fun of the 35-year-old millennial for being vanilla. It's something like that. Like, my ass can't believe... If you had told me that in, you know, fifth grade, I'd be made fun of for being gay, and then 20 years later, my ass would be here ma getting made fun of for being straight, I would be like, can you guys just fucking pick a side? <laughs> Come on, man! It doesn't make any fucking sense. I actually get so pissed off. That whole conversation. Sure, it's a mature conversation, okay? <laughs> I can't believe the noises, man. We were talking about grown-up stuff. People say things like, Why are you talking about this? Why? Like, your ass better be Dame Maggie Smith celibate ass fucking austere madam living in the woods in England, okay? If your ass is like, I really wish you wouldn't talk about this, and then as soon as the stream's over, you're beating off to some degenerate shit, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, you disingenuous hypocrite. Mm, why is he talking about prophylactics? Fucking, I don't even know what website you would even type in to find the shit that you're so gooned up you probably can't get off to the normal stuff anymore you gotta open up an incognito tab and go to the dark web or something like that can i also ask why the most degenerate fuckers are the horniest or let me rephrase why are they pretending to be the horniest because if you jerk off a lot it's self-regulating you, you burn some testosterone off in the process and it makes you not feel the same compulsion to do it for a while. So if your ass is jerking off four times a day, why are you seeing a, a card in Balatro and going, I should call her? That shit is mental illness. Either that or alternatively, you should be jerking off more. Because my first thought is that, like, if you're, like, the degeneracy pipeline almost works the other way. If you haven't achieved release in like two weeks, then like a breeze is gonna make you horny. That's not normal. You gotta, you gotta knock it out. <laughs> What's going on in there? What? That light. Oh, the red. I don't want to self-report here, but like, 
the more you do it, the more you can do it. Okay, speak on that. My experience with that is the opposite. I would say if, if, it's, if it's been a while, I'm like, there's, I would go without food for it. I would go without water for it. I need it. And then if it has happened, you know, in the last little bit, I'm like, it would be nice if it happened again. But we could also just go get some lunch. And then if it's happened like two times semi-recently, and it's like a third time, I'd be like, I'd rather just read my book, honestly. Yeah, you got to diversify your hobbies a little bit. <laughs> You just have low libido? No, I am, uh, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> I'm sorry to break the news to you. <laughs> I know that there's a, there's a risk to talking about stuff like this because it makes you look like you're not a real fucker. It's the way of the world. Unfortunately, I'm compelled by an ancient curse to only tell the truth. You know, in like music where they're like, you know, we met at the club, Ah, we, we, our eyes locked, had a drink, I already knew it was on, took her home, we were making love all night. I'm like, fuck you, man. No, thank you. That's too fucking long. That's not desirable. Even as a younger man, not desirable. You still gotta sleep. There's a great middle ground where at some point you're, you, you know, it's kind of like, this is not advice. It was kind of like an album, right? Or a movie. A movie could be too fucking long. There's some great short films. There's some great TikToks. And then there's some movies that are four hours long and you're like, we've already seen this part. Do we really have to do this again? Like, get, get to the point. I already know, and listen, I'm not trying to besmirch anybody, okay? But whenever someone's like, you know, they're glamorizing the idea of doing it all night, I'm like, wait till you start day one on the job, motherfucker. You think it's so fucking easy. Talk to me in the damn morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks easy, right? You see Aaron Donald strap on his helmet. Pass rush Geno Smith. Geno Smith says, oh my God! Yeets the ball out of there. You don't see him in the damn ice bath after the game. You don't see him at the physiotherapist. You don't see him with the masseuse. A hunker, a grouper, or a tuna. Gotta catch a hunker, a haddock, or a cod. Gotta catch a hunker, albacore. What the hell, man? How did I get nothing from the sea? Now we gotta switch it up slightly Don't remember How does the tune go during this part? Oh, Jesus!